Good morning, folks. We're taking a look at several items here today. Space weather, a big storm heading the west coast, water in a proto system, three interesting stories on the Weather Channel, and a new record electrical activity from a thunderstorm. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the sun was mostly quiet, few minor pops, no significant flaring. The large northern sunspots are turning out of view to the far side, and we have some minor IMF variability in the solar wind with minor geomagnetic impact. As the big northern sunspots depart, we've got a new sunspot group incoming on the south. Helioseismic readings suggest it's got some expanse and we'll be able to get a better look at this one here as the weekend turns in. Up next, we're going from space weather to earth weather. West coast is taking a whopping moisture flow that is dumping over 10 feet of snow in some mountain areas. Will represent a major late season snowpack boost for much of the area while providing a ton of rain for some of the lower elevation areas. System expected to continue hitting the region for at least another day, and maybe more. Up next, we're staying with water, but we're heading way out to a baby star system in the southern half of the galaxy. This region is the first one to ever be confirmed to have an enormous reservoir of vapor within a planet forming fragmented disk. The planets that eventually do form there are going to be water worlds. The astronomers were shocked to see just how much water vapor was present around the young star in exactly the right place to seed those forming planets. Heading to the Weather Channel for a triple. When I see more weather modification silliness continues to prevail, have to chuckle a bit. The silver lining, however, is that while all geoengineering is probably a bad idea, at least this one is just water ice. Interesting story up next, North Atlantic water temperatures and sea ice off the charts. It's painted as global warming, but with the caveat that no model can account for the severity of the changes at this time. What's left out of their models, however, is the increased ice impact from solar forcing focused on the polar region and amplified by Earth's weakening magnetic field, and the elephant in the room that this is what triggers AMOC collapse and Heinrich event cooling. Folks, it's been a while since we reported on record hail. This one may have set the state record in Michigan, and while sunspot minimum should be providing for many more hail surge events, this one is impressive, and it's happened here at sunspot maximum. Last but not least, a so-called unprecedented thunderstorm ground enhancement was detected in Europe, and the scientists were pretty shocked by it. Not me, however. For the last decade, we've been saying to watch for amplified electrical atmospheric conditions due to the increased space energy flux into our planet with the weakening magnetic field. Here, we have a very significant aspect of that in the global electric circuit enhancement. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.